the rag doll. One day, Mum took Emily, Luke and Ben to visit their Auntie Sarah. They loved seeing Auntie Sarah because Auntie Sarah loved seeing them. Auntie Sarah also had a house full of surprises and a special room where children could play. In the room there were lots and lots of toys. Big toys, small toys, cuddly toys and funny toys. But there was one toy that Emily loved more than all the others. Emily looked around the room trying to find it. And then she smiled a big smile when she saw it lying in an old pram. Polly the Rag Doll. While Luke and Ben were playing in the room with lots of different toys, Emily took Polly outside for a walk in the pram. She picked Polly some flowers from Auntie Sarah's garden and gave Polly a leaf biscuit to eat. Emily hoped she could stay all day and play with Polly. But soon Emily's mother called her and told her that they had to go home. Emily couldn't stay all day and play with Polly. Emily didn't want to go and she didn't want to let go of Polly. But finally she did and after giving Polly and Auntie Sarah one last hug and kiss they were on their way home, leaving Polly the rag doll in her old pram with her leaf biscuit. A few days later Emily's mum had a present just for Emily. It was wrapped in yellow paper and had a red ribbon. The package felt soft and it wasn't very heavy. What could be inside? Ben started tugging at the present, wanting Emily to open it. He tried to help her open it because he really wanted to play with the bright yellow paper. When they opened it, Emily couldn't believe what was inside. It was her very own rag doll. Emily was so happy that she kept smiling and smiling and saying, Thank you, Mummy, thank you, Mummy. It was a beautiful rag doll, dressed in a red dress with red ribbons in her hair. Emily named her rag doll Annabelle because she wanted her very own rag doll to have her favourite name. Mummy, where did you find such a beautiful doll? asked Emily. I sewed her myself, said Mummy. Auntie Sarah told me how to make a rag doll when we visited her and you were playing in the garden. You're a very clever mummy, said Emily. Then Emily's mother said to her, I'm not as clever as God though. God made you and he made you so that you can talk and grow and laugh. You can do a lot more things than Annabelle can. You have arms that can move and eyes that can see and feet that can walk. God is very, very clever to make someone like you. Emily smiled. And God made you too, didn't he? And he made Luke and Ben, and he's helping Ben to grow as big as me. That's right. I think God is very clever at making things. And Mummy, God made you so that you could make Annabelle. I can say thank you to God for you, and Luke and Ben and me and for giving me Annabelle. And Emily closed her eyes and did just that.